talking about that 13 inch Kaneko airworm from Depths. Here's how I'm rigging it up. Um, it's a big old worm, huh? 13 inches. It's got real good girth to it, too. Uh, I've been... Yeah, it's about the size of Sharpie roundness. And then it's got those little air holes in the back running all the way up and down the worm. And man, when this thing falls, it just like slow motion falls. I've been putting two O-rings in the middle, but I need like one of those band type things because when the fish grab it and I don't get them hooked, they pretty much rip this worm in half. So working on little different uh, band options for it. But I put a half moon in the bottom, and then I've been running a tungsten nail weight up through it just to get more weight to make it drop a little faster. These fish just been really relating to a fast falling bait. So I'll push that in there. And uh, sometimes I've been using not the half moon and just putting like two or three of those in there. Or I've been putting an old uh, drop shot, lead drop shot weight in there just to get it down. About a quarter ounce or so. And then I'll come through and I'll put super glue in those air holes just to seal it up so nothing goes flying loose. When I filmed this video, there was like a popping noise in the speaker, so I'm just talking over it. And I've been using that BMC Nico hook. Not the two out though. I've been using the one out. Haven't really had any problems, but I might play with that one a little bit. Some underwater footage. Oof. Imagine this being the bass's point of view from right here. Look at that big old thing. Stand straight up, and it'll slowly fall if you let it sit there long enough. I don't have the patience for it. <laughs> or the battery, maybe, because look, it's barely just slowly starting to fall. Ooh, there's some little baby bass right there. But yeah, it's a big old worm dancing. Oh, too big to get in the camera frame. <laughs> but yeah, super cool bait. I've been loving it. So what I've been doing where I'm working it is just on the outside weed lines and on the steeper breaks is where I've really had good luck with it. So a steeper break with a steep, sharp outside weed line. And man... What a fun bite. People think I'm crazy out there throwing this. But man, when that grass is a little long, I mean, it sticks up in the grass and doesn't get buried. Look how little that bass is compared to that worm, right? I'm using 16 pound fluorocarbon. That's a 7.5 medium heavy uh, Elliott rod. Man, I love their rods. Super sensitive. Love their handles. Um... Daiwa, bait caster, some real Bubba Nico stuff right here. Missed them. Yep, that's what happens when you rip the worm in half. And you really want to let them take it. Like, it's, I, it's hard to feel the bite, but all of a sudden it just feels different, and you just got to reel into them. You just got to keep reeling. Some of them hit it on the fall, so... I don't have the uh, technique of just reeling it on every uh, video here. But man, look at that little runt. It's crazy. And I mean, they were destroying this thing. And what I do is I just let it fall, and then you kind of put some slack in your line, and you just kind of like whip it up and down, not violently but just like a bull whip a little bit you can see it a little bit there right there that's how you can really feel that worm work it's super cool it's like an extension of the the line you can feel it whipping down there yeah so this was a green pumpkin one I was using, and I just put like a little chartreuse on the tip because they really like that in this lake. So 
Why not, right? Yeah, that big old worm. I wish there came more in a pack, man. Because I'm about to be using these for everything. The smaller they get, I'll have it down to a Ned rig here by fall time. And of course, when I'm out filming by myself, I missed a couple um, video catches because I like to hit the button too many times and change it from video to photo or whatever. Yeah, you see that little chartreuse at the end of the tail there? That was a nice bass. The one I caught just before it was a lot nicer. But yeah, you just work it real slow, real methodical. And the drawing power of this worm, I mean, I was fishing smaller worms and not getting as many bites. I was getting half as many bites. I mean... This thing's falling through the water, and it's just drying fish. I, I, I swear, fish from the other side of the lake are probably running over. Yeah. They're just bulldogging, man. They're fighting so hard. And so all this grass, it's that real stringy grass, you know, that's like almost hard to fish, you know, because if you're getting weeds, if you, know, if you don't get a fish, you're almost getting um, weeds on your bait every cast. I don't care if it's weedless or not. I'm still working on my editing. Not sure what that was. <laughs> Yep, there's the reel into it. Then you just gotta keep reeling. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get those VMC bands that go on that worm. But yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this bait and I wanted to put this out there just to let people know, don't be afraid to use a big worm. Yep, here's one where I really did proper technique with it. Shaking it a little bit. And then when you feel them bite it, you can almost like shake it just so you can like still feel the fish, if it was a fish or not. And then once you know for sure, man, just start reeling. And like this one was coming towards the boat, but he ended up way to the left side. Like you can kind of see where the line <clears throat> like circles around a weed patch or something. Yep, that was the one video I think I got where it was like proper form. Yeah, just a little fuck, I mean just a little runt, it's crazy. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good fishing uh, season so far and enjoying the videos. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, man. Let's let this video blow up. It's northern Minnesota, fishing with a 13 inch worm. That's some down south stuff. Look at that. Catching babies. Ooh. Yeah, it's been like raining, sunny, raining, sunny. And I just wanted to show you that I do lose fish. So, but I still have my worm. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching.